The Stop Sanctuary Policies and Protect Americans Act is a bill that was introduced in the Senate by Republican David Vitter of Louisiana and is co-sponsored by presidential candidates Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio, along with eight other senators. The bill would have stopped federal funding to any city, county, or state that refuses to enforce U.S. immigration law or cooperate with immigration enforcement officials. Those funds would then be reallocated to jurisdictions in compliance with federal immigration law. The legislation would have implemented Kate's Law, which was written in response to the murder of Catherine Steinle, who was shot and killed by an illegal alien who had already been deported several times. Kate's Law imposes a five-year prison sentence for any foreigner who illegally re-enters the U.S. after committing a felony or has two prior illegal entry offenses. These sanctuary policies and sanctuary cities that enact them are dangerous and counterproductive to both law enforcement efforts and reducing illegal immigration. That was Senator Vitter discussing the dangers of sanctuary city policy. There are over 340 sanctuary jurisdictions in the United States. The murder of Catherine Steinle was not an isolated incident. The families of many victims of violence committed by illegal aliens had their stories told by lawmakers in support of the legislation. The bill was also supported by many law enforcement groups, including the National Association of Police Organizations, as well as organizations like the Remembrance Project and America First Latinos. This common sense legislation, which President Obama had already threatened to veto, failed to pass in the Senate. On top of that, the White House is proposing an expansion of a program that allows foreign students to work in the U.S. Obama originally mentioned this rule change last November when he acted illegally on amnesty. It's a step in the wrong direction, and bringing it up now in the context of Kate's Law demonstrates how far out of step the administration is with the American people. There is good news, though. Texas Governor Greg Abbott has put in place his own policy, saying in a letter that sanctuary cities will not be tolerated in Texas. Let's hope other states follow Abbott's lead on this. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and donate at theraywarnershow.com.